Go. Okay. Assembly of the cube. So when you get these off the printer, you need to check these corners because these corners will pull out little burrs and you have to trim them off with an X-Acto knife. And just clean all that off because that'll get in the way of the, uh, the how the gears interact with each other. Clean any glue off the bottom if there is any. Then when you have everything ready to explain how these pins work is you put the pin in. And I don't know if you can, can you see that? Mm -hmm. The pin goes in about halfway and you have a little gap right here which is where it snaps in when you put the part on. And that determines how loose or tight the gear is. So when you push this on here like this, see that's nice and tight? That's good, that's what you want. If it's real loose, then you have to take one of these pins and trim right there and just take a little bit off the points and that'll allow it to come in a little closer and, and tighten the gearing up so it works smoothly. So as far as how to assemble, oh, and you can put a little grease on it if you want it to be uh, smooth motion. If it's a little chunky when you put it together and it doesn't feel like it's moving real good, you can put grease on it and it makes them smooth, really, really smooth. For now, I'm just gonna put it together and show you how to assemble. So all the small corners are the small parts. So go ahead and put your pins in like that on all the smaller faces, like so. And then put on all your small gears, like this. Okay, and I noticed this one's a little loose. So you can see that's, see how loose that is? So we're gonna pull that off, pull this out. We're gonna trim this just a little bit. So, put that back in. Better. Still a little loose. Well, we can fix that later. So now, put the pins in the large faces. Like so. Now to make sure that you have a cube when you're all done, you kind of got to get these all in the right position. So as you can see, if you match these edges here and here with one of your larger blocks and push it in, and then here and here when you push it in, and that becomes the flat top of one of the faces right there. Okay, and then when you put your next piece in, you can visually see that that's gonna make that whole top flat. So you can push that in. Now we go over here, same thing. Same thing over here. Oh, now we got one that's a little out of position here, so. Let's pull one of these out, probably a little one. Rotate wet where we need it, put it back in. And put this in here like this. Make sure everything's nice and tight. You can hear some of those snapping. They're actually not snapped in place right away until you put a little pressure on them. Now that's, that's pretty tight. Got a couple of gears that could use a little work, but it's basically assembled now when your gear is new, it's gonna be tight, stiff, because you have little pieces of plastic in the way that have to get knocked off by move, basically moving the gear and using it. If it's too tight, put a little grease in it. And that's pretty much it. We'll have to grease this one up, get it loose so it works properly, but that's the assembly.